Hey, good morning, everybody. Please alert your friends and family that we are live. Just in case notifications still aren't playing nice. Happy Sunday to everybody. I am just looking around for a cat after breakfast, so most everybody's gonna be chilling, <laughs> chilling before it gets too hot. Go check in on this cricket. Mask on here, get the gate open. Good morning, Rosie. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Chris. There's a Desi. Oh, look how handsome. Good morning, Janet. Hi, Deborah. He's gonna be less chatty now that he's not close to us, but <laughs> sure does look cute in there. Hi, Susan. Hey Sonia, good morning. Hey Jessica. Good morning Lisa. Hi Susan. Hey Virginia, hi Don. Happy Sunday and thank you guys for sharing, helping um, each other out in the comments. Will be super helpful for me today. We are just getting started and I just now showed our first cat. <laughs> Hi Marcy. Hi Dawn. Good morning. So this is Mr. Dez. Nice and quiet today. Hey Mary. Hi Jen. So I'm assuming you all saw that over the weekend we had a new baby come in. Here is a new rehab bobcat. I've not met him yet. I've read the same thing you guys have read. Tomorrow's my rehab day, so that'll be the first time seeing him. I believe that they are pronouncing his name Keikoa or Kikoa. I need to find out for sure. I think it's probably Kikoa. Key, it's K-E-K-O-A. <laughs> it's Hawaiian. It's adorable. It means warrior. And I guess the ultimate goal will be to introduce him to Makani. So we'll have our two little Hawaiian boys. I can't even handle it. And it's really, really exciting that we'll get to raise him. Well, hi, Miss Crix. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? Oh, that's not very nice. How are we doing, honey? I know, I'm not the person that has the food. Assuming maybe you're still waiting on breakfast. What you looking for? What you looking for, lady? Oh, for heaven's sake. There we go. That looks cozy. That looks cozy. This is Miss Cricket. Good morning, Cindy. Hi, Carrie Ann. Hi, Cassie. Good morning. Thank you, Suzanne, for your donation. Good morning, Angel. I know, I don't usually get a hello hiss from Cricket. Cricket and Hutch are usually the two that are like the least likely <laughs> to greet me with a hiss. <laughs> I guess today we're up for anything. You gotta get that belly pain. Amazing how these animals can live outside in such a tropical sometimes rainy, muddy environment, and still stay so clean. Hey, Miss Cricks, what do you want everybody to do this, this um, week? Especially today. Is it the call of the wild? 
<laughs> if you guys saw the plea from Carol, the post that was on our page yesterday, now is our time to really be striking while the iron is hot. So please, every single one of you that watches this live today, after the live, if you can please go to bigcatact.com and go through the motions of making the call of the wild in honor of the big cats and encourage your legislators to please, please, please protect the cats, protect first responders, protect neighborhoods and kids <laughs> by passing the Big Cat Public Safety Act. I can tell she's very passionate about them. <laughs> it's cricket. So please, please, please. It's bigcatact.com. It's so, so simple. Just getting the cricket bath. Like she's in for a very good lazy Sunday. You know, Cricket is one of our oldest cats here. Mr. Dez out on the move. We just saw him in his den, but he's going to his new favorite daytime hangout. Eat some grass, lay in the grass. Does. You all learned so many habits from Mr. Beecher being all of your neighbors at one point in time. You don't usually see does move, but when you do, you can tell it's very obvious. It only has three legs. Oh, mister. all that he's got his pool there I've never seen any of the servals go in the pools but I do believe that they like to hang out near them hey Deb hi Karen of water in their feeding lockouts, but generally they like when the water is moving. We don't fill up the giant bowls for them, but you can see that there's the small bowls that they install. Well, we've seen two servals. Let's go see what other kinds of species might still be out <laughs> willing to give us some attention. You guys have been watching this aria. She is currently the one in vacation rotation. Seems to be doing really well as far as utilizing the space and feeding and all of those things. There she is. I know you guys can see her pretty much any time, but don't always get a good close-up of her. Hi, pretty. Hi, pretty. 
pretty, pretty. How's that pretty girl? Ooh. Hi, Aria. Ooh. Ooh. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. How's that girl doing? I saw you've been swimming. You've been using your platforms. Ooh. What a sweetheart. Yeah, let's just lay right here and hang out for a minute. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi, oh, sweet girl. If you don't know Aria's story, that's the second thing I would ask of you to do right after <laughs> this live today. <laughs> is please go read her story and then immediately go to bigcatapp.com <laughs> and make the call of the wild for Aria. Oh goodness. Oh my goodness, lady. What a special girl you are. What a special girl you are. Yeah. So special. Oh. Look at that belly. Look at that belly, Miss Aria. Whoa. For a cat that never ever walked on grass or knew what grass was, we sure like it now. We sure like it now, don't we, sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I know. If I rolled around in the grass, I'd be sneezing too. That is the worst. So many allergens there. Such a sweet girl. Where are you going? Where's that girl going? Yes, tell everybody to make the call of the wild today for me. Just for me. You can see the scars still left on her for a lifetime of total neglect and abuse. We're so, so happy she's still got such a fighting spirit. <laughs> Both front shoulders and back hips have permanent scarring and even her front shoulders from time to time will still flare up and look a little like pinky red, like they get a little irritated still. She's obviously a rubber and a roller. <laughs> but you would have never known that she was actually going to make it and live have any kind of quality of life with how damaged she was when she arrived. So much pain. I can't believe like the thought of how much pain she was living in just breaks my heart. That's why it's so awesome we could make it better. Yeah, say thank you state of Ohio. You got her out of there and you got her to us. Good job. What you doing? <laughs> Go get an early swim in. Looks like a good spot to lay. I'm sure Explore can see you. All your prettiness. Alright lady, oh, let's go see who else is out and about. Maybe we'll get a Kali. I think I see her on the outside of the den. Vulture, tempting to get food. Here she is. Hi, my girl. Da 
There's my special girl. Hi. Hi, Cully baby. What you doing, sweetheart? <laughs> Hi. You just stay right there. It's just a camera, okay? Yeah, just camera. I know. I don't have anything fun. It's just a camera. Yeah. You keep relaxing, my lady. You keep relaxing, my lady. Thank you, Linda, for the donation. Thank you guys very much. Anybody who is donating, sharing, and helping out in the comments. <laughs> what about your face in the grass? Oh. Yeah. My good girl. My good girl. If you guys missed it yesterday, I guess um, Amanda and Kristen did a feeding tour, which is awesome because as I think I explained this maybe even last week or the week before. It's been so hard to organize those on a Sunday, and I always hate to pass away from Sunday keepers. It's like, oh, you came in early to feed. Guess what? I'm taking all of these cats from you. <laughs> so that uh, takes like a huge burden off my shoulders for them to do some feeding tours like that. So yay, girls, thanks. And either of you were watching ever. Oh my goodness. Look at that very big paw. Jeanette asked if we were open to the public. I wish very, very much that we were. We had always been open to the public for small um, educational tours, and we would do kids tours, feeding tours, and keeper tours, but um, in March of 2020, when we learned that COVID-19 was shutting down the world and that it actually did put the cats at risk, the cats can get COVID. So because of that, we have been in no rush um, to reopen our doors to the general public. So unfortunately not, um, which makes your donations that much more important, your sponsorships when you shop on our on online store, all of that is what helps us continue to care for these cats because we have lost an insane amount of revenue not being open to the public for guided tours. So you can learn um, all about each and every cat on their bio pages. Those are at bigcatrescue.org slash catbio. And you can also watch for our lives here on Facebook, but we also have live cameras all over property. I think we're like 40 some cameras strong at this point, both out in our rehab and release program and on main property. And those are at bigcatcams.com. Well, here's our Sunday's in. Here's our Sunday's in, baby girl. Yeah. So this week will be really heavily focused on not only having you guys please make the call of the wild this week. Again, bigcatact.com. It's super easy and it's the most free and amazing thing you can do for these big cats is to be their voice for them. So if you're a U.S. resident, bigcatact.com. But besides that, we are celebrating International Tiger Day, which is this coming Friday. Of course, I'm not normally here on Fridays, so we'll try to focus on tigers this week as much as we can. Potentially, Lauren and I may try to do some kind of live together on Thursday, but we haven't figured all that out yet. But if you guys can please um, donate anything that you're able to donate at bigcatrescue.org slash ITD, International Tiger Day. And that page also has the link 
to all of the merchandise, which is really awesome because it features every single one of the tigers that currently calls Big Cat Rescue home. So Miss Kali is on there. You hear on that shirt? That means I better get one. I better get one. And that merchandise will only be available for a short time. So it's available right now at bigcatrescue.biz and you can search International Tiger Day or you can go to, again, the links that actually several people have posted now. That's where you'll find everything. And I want to encourage you guys to make sure that if you are sponsoring any of the cats at BigCatRescue.biz that you read through all of the perks because there are some really nice perks when you sponsor at some of the higher levels. So just take a gander at that. might give you something that you'd want to save up for. So many people talk about, you know, coming here in person and helping in different ways that they can help and some of those sponsorship kits can make all those dreams come true. Just saying. <laughs> He's very tired. Kali here is a 22 year old tiger. Are you 22? You just turned 22 my lady. All right I'm gonna stand up. I don't want you to be sad about it. I gotta go though. Hi. <laughs> down for that long. Nope. Old lady knees. Good job, honey. Alright, I love you. I do, I love you. Yes, you good girl. Such a good girl. So as far as watermelons, um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I know that they were purchased and we've got them here. It's just been a matter of getting Jamie, Afton, and myself all together in one place at one time. I'm capable of doing that. <laughs> it takes a lot to safely go in and out of enclosures. So I think last week uh, was derailed a couple times due to weather. Um, Afton had to cover for Erin while Erin was at Taffa in DC, so she worked like nine days straight practically. And then Thursday we talked about cutting up a honeydew to offer it to all the small cats just to see what their reactions would be. We've done that before with pineapples and other types of melons. Unfortunately watermelons, once you cut them open, they attract a lot of bees and flies. So we usually just give those to the juicier ones like that, to the big, big cats. <laughs> but all of that didn't get to happen on Thursday. Thursday's my project day, so I was already a little strung out about like, how am I actually going to help do all that and film and hand out, but then also get my project done. So what I did for close to eight hours on Thursday was I've been working on Aria's enclosure and I painted <laughs> on a ladder. There's an eight foot seam on most all of the enclosures that need painted where the wire crosses over each other. For some reason it has some kind of like metal reaction and so we keep that painted the most. So you can see my shiny Rust-Oleum paint. People are always like, your cages look rusty. Well, we literally paint them with a rust-colored Rust-Oleum, so. So I got, I managed to get one entire huge bubble all done. But she's got like six more bubbles, so <laughs> still a long ways to go. <laughs> Hey, 
Alright, so, let's see who else is out over here. Hi, good morning. Here's a Jasmine. Hey, Jaskins. We're watching them drive away. It's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see where they're going. Nope, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the big project right now is getting Aria's home enclosure all spruced up. I wanna show you guys what Victor and Jamie were working on last week that did kind of keep us from the watermelons, but it's so worth it. It's all coming true and I'm so excited. <laughs> so bear with me, we're probably not going to um, see too many cats along the way at this point. Because Maxie is not out. Jasmine will just watch walk away from us. Unless we see a Lovey or a Max or a Marianne along the way. So, Kelowna and Dryden do not have access to it yet. But there's lots of fun things in there now. You guys remember about two months ago, Mark and I started cleaning up um, my Tiger Lily's old enclosure. It had sat empty for close to two years and it was breaking my heart. So you guys at one point on one of my birthday fundraisers helped me fundraise so that we could add a tunnel to connect them from their current enclosure over to this one. So this is just an empty enclosure as of right now, but what we accomplished was this used to be like basically ferns to the ceiling practically. What they did is they added this fancy new, so they have another sort of platform, little box. They have little bridges. Under here, there's um, the den that Lily used to really like. They've got a lot of ferns to hide in here as well. So this is their current enclosure. And look, now there's a tunnel. So the tunnel will lead from the, um, you can see it, there's not an opening cut yet, so they can't actually access it yet. But they're gonna build on to make this, the top of this connect to the tunnel. They're also gonna have to put like a, a mesh like wire on this because that's way too big of a square. None of the cats can walk on that without falling through. But it'll connect over on this side. And then they have a couple little catwalks. It'll give them an additional feeding walkout as well. Additional water. So when it's all said and done, They've got this bubble already, but they will be gaining these three bubbles. So it might have taken us a little while to get to this point. <laughs> I know you guys helped me fundraise for that maybe even two birthdays ago. But it's finally happening. So they've still got a handful of things that they'll have to do in there this week. Look how bright and white their den is. Everything's been cleaned and scrubbed. They're currently over in just this section until we get everything complete. So there goes Mr. Dryden. Dryden, are you so excited, Bob? He's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so Dryden and Kulona are separated right now for breakfast. Mr. 
Monster Man. And Mr. Dryden. What a good boy. Yeah, I did all that for you, kiddo. Aren't you so excited? He's like, yeah, I'm so excited for you to leave. <laughs> Yeah, Tiger Lily lived to be 25, and she had just made it through her 25th when we lost her. Uh, we believe she was probably, she had some kind of, um, like, jaw cancer. Hi, kiddo. Here's a flint. You hear there's another new boy in town? Hi, Flintster. Oh. 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 Flint and Nabisco are also still separated for breakfast, but not for long. I wanted to show you Miss Kilona. Hi, Kilona. Kiu Hi. Hi, pretty pretty. Oh. So Tiger Lily was always considered to be like one of the shyest cats here and there were keepers that had claimed they'd practically never even seen her. And she was like a really light white silvery um, bobcat and so a lot of people called her the ghost kitty because she was just so elusive. And for some reason when we started here she was about 20 and she just started following me and my husband both and we weren't even like coming over together at the same time. We just both, like, one day we were like, you know that tiger lily? Like, I'll be, like, cleaning. And then I turn around and she's just, like, standing there. <laughs> and he's like, oh my god, me too. So then we started coming over and hanging out with her. And then she just kind of became our bobcat. I was able to groom her in the end. Like, it was just kind of crazy how it worked out. And so when we lost her, I just kept thinking about Kelona and Dryden because I'm like, they're basically the same personality. Like very very just shy and elusive hi kiddo what you looking at feet i think you just see shadows sometimes i'm not so sure how your eyesight works i think maybe he sees well long distance but up close it's like well he seems he seems a little strange can i trust you for a second doubtful pretty doubtful but we'll try so this is Nabisco. Flint and Nabisco live together and they live next door to Kelona and Dryden. Usually big cats are solitary by nature, so they don't really want to share space, compete for food, compete for toys. So we separate them for feeding, for operant, and as long as there's multiple people to hand out enrichment, they play pretty nice. but. I always have to be a little worrisome because they are wild animals and if they start to fight you can't really break it up so bobcats we've noticed if you introduce them when they're very young together that sometimes they can be lifelong playmates but right but that didn't work out for you and missus unfortunately but you and Flintster's doing good a new fake out wave.
so handsome boy. <laughs> Very handsome boy. Do you remember when you were the size of your own head? You were smaller than Summer. You were smaller than Summer. Who would have ever thought? Good job, buddy. Sort of feel like maybe I need to play the lottery or something. I didn't get swiped. You didn't get swiped? So crazy. Crazy talk. That's crazy talk. I think Jen and Air are heading over to maybe try to shift Kelona and Dryden so that they can work on their other enclosures. So I'm gonna clear out so that they've got plenty of space. Cause I see them heading over with some treats and some sticks. <laughs> if we can shift them and get one of their other bubbles all cleaned up, then it's just a matter of whatever Victor and Jamie need to tie up loose ends. And then I'm hoping maybe this week, Keelan and Dryden will get all that extra space. Well, I'm wearing my small shirt today. Hi, sweetheart. I'm gonna come over there and say hi. Yep, I'm in my small shirt. I guess I should show you what I'm talking about. So, small, but mighty. So cute. Yeah, I saw it froze. I was kind of in a dead spot there in the middle of the sanctuary. Let's go see this girl. She's up in her princess tower. This will be the last cat we see. If you missed any part of this, please go rewatch it, dailybigcat.com. And what do we really want them to do today, lady? The call of the wild. Yeah, bigcatact.com, right? This is Smalls. This is the small girl. I got here too late. You're very, very sleepy. Very, very sleepy. Well, thank you very much for everybody who donated today, everybody who shared this, Everybody who promises you're gonna go to bigcatact.com today to make the call of the wild. Also, thank you ahead of time for supporting us for International Tiger Day. We are hoping to raise $10,000 to help um, an organization in the wild protecting tigers. So you can find all that information on our website as well bigcatrescue.org slash I-T-D. Hi! I'm still here. I'm still here for a second. All right, sweetheart. I gotta go mail eBay stuff and I got all kinds of things to do. Crazy busy week. All right, guys, well, weather permitting, I hopefully will see you guys tomorrow. Um, Aspen's not here on Mondays, so I know there won't be watermelons tomorrow, but I'm hoping Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we might see some. 
So thank you so much for joining me. Happy Sunday, everybody. Really appreciate all of you. Have a great rest of your day and a perfect start to your week. Or just go take a nap because that's what Smalls makes me want to do. <laughs> all right, sweetheart. See you later.